welcome to electricity class at uh, Herm A Center. My name is Mr. Halstead, and this is my class of first years. We today we're going to learn about drills and how to use drills and putting some drills in action. All right, guys. So what did we read about today with the drills? What type of drills are there? Uh, hammer drills. Hammer drills. What's another Pneumatic. power? Impact. Pneumatic impact. What's the other type? What do we use? Electrical. electrical, right? And there are two different types of electrical. Magnetic. Electromagnetic. Actually, there are three types. Electromagnetic, what's the other type? Uh, hand powered. Hand powered, that's old school, yes. They, they're still out there, I'm sure. The Amish are still using them. The Irish. Uh, not the Irish, the Amish. Uh, <laughs> battery, battery powered, and cord powered that's going to plug into the wall. Whenever we plug something into the wall on the job site, what do we need? GFCI. GFCI. And what's that for? Right, right. It's, it's there to protect us. Okay, the GFCI, safety, obviously, always first. Uh, big on safety, of course. The GFCI is there to protect us, to make sure that uh, if the cord has a damage to it, or there's water on the job site, or uh, water escapes from the roof while I'm working on something, it's going to shut that off so the power doesn't hurt us. Okay, It's not going to hurt us, it's not going to damage the equipment. All right. Um, we took the uh, quiz on drills, right? Everybody was good with that, with the different parts on the drill bits, the splines, and everything else. Okay. Um, does anybody have any questions on the different types of drill bits? No? What, what drill bits are we going to use today? Uh, auger. auger drill bit? What's that for? Uh, what do we use it for? Deep holes in wood. Deep holes in wood. Okay. What's another drill bit? Paddle. Paddle. And what's it used for? Cutting holes. Cutting holes in wood. 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 That's right. And what was the other one we're going to use? Hole saw, right, for cutting holes in metal, okay. What's the most basic one? What, what did we call that one? When everybody thinks of a drill bit, what type of drill? It's just called a twist, right, right, or just drill bit. If you, if you ask people for a drill, that's typically what they're going to think of is that standard, uh, just regular drill bit. It's sharp, and it's got all the twists on it, okay. Then it's got a plain section back here, and what do we call that? Shadow. That's right, exactly. That's going to go into the drill, and what's going to tighten down on that part? The chuck. The chuck. And we have two ways of tightening chucks. What's uh, one way? A chuck, a chuck key, and the other? Right, just with your hands, exactly. There's a third method that uh, I don't have one, but we talked about as well. And what was that? Right, you pull it down, it's a quick release. Yep, exactly. So all of them are going to grab the drill bit to, to hold it tight. Obviously, safety-wise, that's pretty important. Uh, loose drill bit comes loose, comes flying across the job site. That's not going to be good for anyone. Comes loose, it's going to damage the uh, equipment that you're drilling into. Uh, that could be an issue. Uh, damage yourself or the equipment. That's what we're always looking to prevent. Okay. Any questions on the drill bits? Any questions on general safety with the drills, period? No? What do you think? You guys ready to go in and drill some holes? Yes. All right, cool. Let's do it. All right, so we've got our power drill. We've got it hooked up. We've got, what's this again? All right, let's give it a check. This works. If I click this to test it. No power, right? So we know that's in working order. All right. This one doesn't have an a automatic stop. You notice how it keeps spinning? So we got to keep that in mind when we're drilling into something that it's not going to um, immediately stop for safety reasons. Okay. Let's do, I'm going to hand this to you. Remember, don't put your fingers on the trigger. Before we put the drill bit in, what do we need to do? Right. Right, safety first. Here you go. He's got it. He's got it. 
You always do it. It always gets confusing. Yeah. It's okay. So what are some of the hazards uh, included in drilling? Loose clothing. Loose clothing, right? Drilling into the extension. Drilling into the cord or into anyone else or what, what's beyond the, the subject. What else? What about, uh, what happens to the floor? It's it's slippery. Slippery, right? And I heard someone else, right, flying debris. Exactly. Those are some of the things we need to be worried about. All right, let's step up and pick a spot and drill you a hole, okay? All right. Good job. Good job. All right. Who's next? Who else wants to drill a hole? Abe? All right. Go ahead. For it to stop, there you go, pull it out. All right, everybody's seen that one. Should we try a different bit? Yes. Yeah, All right, let's do the auger. All right, who's going to change that out for me? It's good and tight. They doing pretty good so far, everybody's? Mm -hmm. yeah. You pretty happy with the holes they drilled? Yes, sir. Okay. You don't see any safety violations? Yeah. Or, all right. All right. There we go. I got it. All right. And you have power. So which is fast, do you think? The auger. This one. The auger, right, definitely. Definitely the auger is a faster bit, okay? It's going to uh, cut the, the wood much quicker. All right, I'll tell you what, I know you guys have been dying to try this one, so let's slide this out of the way and so we'll pull that uh, cement block out. and just set it on the floor just flat like that and can I get one of you guys to swap this wood out for the piece of metal so we have that ready next all right so next we're going to use a hammer drill okay technically that one has a hammer setting as well the hammer setting is at the top everybody see how it's got the drill section here and then it's got a little sign for a hammer looks like a little T. That's a hammer. What that's going to do is move this bit back and forth as it's drilling, okay, which is going to hammer away at the block. I'll drill a, a sample hole first for you guys, and then I'll uh, let you guys set it, okay? So one of the things we want to do is we want to make sure that the block is steady. I'm going to stand with my feet on either side of it. I don't have to squeeze tight. I just want to make sure that the block's not going to rotate off, okay? Stuff this inside here. All right. It's like that. Okay. You hear it. You hear how it's making a much higher pitch whine. It's. You'll feel that it's vibrating a little more, and you see obviously the uh, the dust. And what's the hazard with the dust? Slip. Slip. And what? Right fly up and remember silicosis we talked about as well okay all right someone else try here you go all right 
What type of drill is this, guys? And how is it? Battery powered hammer drill. All right. There you go. This one has an automatic stop. You hear that it stops immediately, so it's got a little safer, uh, safer device to it. All right, who else wants to give it a try? All right, come on, give that one a try. <clears throat> go all right excellent excellent how about we switch over and drill some holes in some metal how's that sound sound good to you guys okay all right all right now one of the challenges with the hole saw is it's got two two bits to it okay it's going to first it's going to cut that quarter inch hole that's in the center of it and then it's going to cut the the big hole, okay? Does this take a tuck key? No, no, that one's just going to be a right squeeze. It's going to click, and you're going to know what's in there, okay? So I'm going to drill through here. Well, I'll have one of you guys drill through. One of the tricks that we're going to learn is you drill, and you don't want it to slam down on there. So you drill kind of, you press hard at first, and then you lighten up. Just remember how we... We talk about lightening up so that it doesn't pop through real quick. I don't want to break these teeth on here, uh, and that'll cause premature wear and tear on them. It's not going to break the teeth immediately. but uh, And then you're going to cut that hole, and it's going to take a little longer to cut that one, okay, and pop it through, okay? Who's who's up? Give me someone new. All right. Devante, yeah, you ready, man. You got this. You got this. All right. No, he's got it. There you go. Right there. There, you go. there it is. Boom. These often get tricky at the very end to get through. And why that is, is once it's created that edge and it starts to break through at certain spots, those teeth are going to want to hang up. So you want to keep it moving still fast, but just put a very light pressure on it and kind of lift it up as you go so that it's not catching on the, uh, on the metal itself. You did a great job of punching that through and not pushing the drill all the way through. Okay, As we talked about, there might be you know, important equipment or people or safety issues on the other side of that. Remember when we pulled the, the, uh, the blades out of the wood, the drill bits out of the wood, what, how they were hot? Yeah. Mm -hmm. When I'm drilling metal, it'll burn you hot. Okay, you'll get a blister from this. Don't ever try and catch that coin. Don't ever have paper or anything flammable around it. I don't know if you guys noticed there was a little spark yeah. that flew. Yeah. Right. Um, anytime I'm cutting or drilling metal, uh, I should be especially aware of where fire uh, suppression equipment is, fire extinguisher. I might even want to have it near me so that I'm prepared. But first of all, I'm going to clear the area of anything flammable. Okay, I'm just going to eliminate that threat. Uh, for concrete floor I don't have to worry about or, or tile floor, anything like that I don't have to worry about. Okay, So fire is obviously a concern. Uh, there are some jobs where they'll put you on fire watch. Remember, we talked about fire watch, and you would have uh, someone else there standing by to watch, uh, especially if they're grinding or cutting any metals. Okay. All right. I just want to say thanks for joining us today to uh, learn a little bit about drills and drill safety and the different materials we're going to be drilling. And. Thanks. <laughs>